Hi, this is Anna, and this is Check It at the Round Table, where we discuss movies, books, music, and stuff. Today we are discussing Tan Han Chan La Tea, Episode 5. This episode basically continues on with the aftermath of the birthday party um, that Tan Han's dad had and the outrageous talk he did basically saying, my son's free and available. Any girl that wants him, please come up and get him because I want an heir. And Tan Han's trying to deal with that as he decompresses and goes home and gets ready for his for night with um, Chan La Tea and also the two roommates that he has as they get ready to drop off their fake girlfriend. And at the end of the day on that, he basically gives Chan La Tea a hug and says, you know, I don't need a girlfriend right now. And he said, you know, basically, despite what my dad thinks, and he goes, you know, I really appreciate you being here in my life and basically just being here for me. And so that's kind of where that ends. We then have Tan Han's girlfriend who is upset because she broke up with Tan Han so that she could go chase this other boy who she thought had more money than him. When she found out he didn't, she now wants Tan Han back. And Tan Han's like, no, I'm not getting back together with you. You're the one that broke up with me in the first place, woman. No offense. I'm like, you know, I totally get Tan Han there. I'm not really quite sure why he liked you in the first place, but that is a digression I'm not going to go into here. And you know, so she then goes and marches. For some reason, she finds that she is justified in walking into Tan Han's house without his permission. And Chan Lati's in there taking a shower and getting ready because he, you know, they typically in Thailand, it seems they take showers in the morning and showers in the evening just to kind of cool down and also after they've been out and about which is kind of a neat tradition when you think about it. But anyway, so he's getting done with his shower and he's drying off his hair and he comes out and Tan Han's girlfriend is there basically trying to get him to help her get Tan Han back. And she tried this before and he just is like, it's not my place to get Tan Han back for you. This is something you and Tan Han need to work out. This is not my rodeo and this is not my thing. And so he's basically, he then just walks out, kind of leaves her to fume and fuss. And she's like, you do Tan Han's laundry? And he goes, yes, I do Tan Han's laundry. We live together. Okay, woman, just, you know, and I'm not trying to use the word woman inappropriately. It's just like, really, what does this woman need to get through her head to realize that she's not going to win Tan Han back if she's the one who broke up in the first place? But anyway, I digress. And so he's starting laundry and she's basically trying to get him to say that he likes Tan Han so that she can then go. And I mean, she's so stupid, too. I mean, I don't know. It's like she's stupid, mean and immoral. And so she's basically like, I want you to tell me that you like Tan Han so I can go tell his dad and then he can kick you out of the house. And I'm going you know, that's a really good way to motivate someone to tell you that they like someone so that you can in turn then kick them out of the house. I mean, as motivation goes, I'd say that's down at like 0, 0.000 for motivation. So anyway, the two guys who live with Tan Han and Chan Lati know that she's gone to the house and that Tan Han is probably not there. So Chan Lati is trying to deal with her by himself and they're, they can't go to the house because they're both in soccer practice at that time. So they instead send the girl who they're paying to be the fake girlfriend over to the house with the promise of 2000 baht to go kick this woman out of their house. So the girl comes over and basically she and Chan that he do in the end get the girl out of the house and that is taken care of however as the story progresses um Chan Lati and Tan Han get to be better friends. Um, Tan Han helps Chan Lati figure out his classes and just kind of sits there with him as he does his homework one day and Chan Lati's like you know I finally feel like I kind of belong here in this place then they have these basically initiations in Thai film that they depict of kids that get ready to go into school. Um, I really have no truck with the initiations of any sort because I think they're stupid. And I also think that they can kill people just because I've known people who have died because of initiations or actually the family members that were left after the initiation ceremony. So I'm like, you know, I really don't have any truck with it simply because of what I've seen. However, that being the case, 
they have initiation ceremonies in a lot of schools in Thailand, apparently, when kids go to college. Um, during one of those initiation ceremonies, Chan Lati is taken to a bar with Ping, and basically, with the help of the ex-girlfriend and the awful kid who was trying to flirt with him, they get Ping and him rather intoxicated. Ping somehow, for some reason, decided to put a Facebook Live as she's at the bar. So Tan Hong gets on Facebook and figures out that that's live right now. And Chan Lati, who cannot handle alcohol at all, is getting really snockered. And so is Ping. And that girl is there. So he's figuring something is not okay with the situation. He then basically stops the their initiation ceremony for the freshies, which basically involves making the kids set and sing for a long time. And, you know, it doesn't involve them drinking too much. So more mild on the scale of problems. But anyway... He basically cuts off that situation so he can go and get Chan Lati out of that as well as Ping because he figures something's up with those two individuals involved in that situation. And he's pretty mad at this point because he's like, not only is my ex-girlfriend an absolute jerk, but she's now trying to harm my best friend from childhood, which, you know, as a way to try to get back with someone is probably the lamest way you could possibly try to do that. But, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying it just really doesn't, you know, it gets, gets from bad to worse with her. And so that's kind of where this episode's end is. Tan Han is going to try to figure out where they are with his two other friends who are the roommates so they can get Chan Lati, get Ping out of there and hopefully get them so that they are safe and okay. And that is my review of episode five of Tan Han Chan Lati. Again, I'm just going to put this caveat there at the end of this episode. This is not, sorry, hiccups, a show for kids. This is a show that I'm watching simply because I do like the couple from Together, although I have not seen Together, just seen clips from it. And I also wanted something that's a little comedic. And this does have some funny humor in it, although I probably won't watch it again after I watch it this first time. Just because it's not really my thing with the somewhat, you know, there are some inappropriate comments made. And I'm just not really into that. I do skip some scenes on this. And I do, you know, just go, huh, yeah, yeah. But anyway... So this one, I'd probably give a 5 out of 10, simply because I just don't really like certain things about it. I am hoping it gets better as we progress. You know, not everything is as it shows in the first five episodes. And so that is my review of Tan Han Chan Lati Episode 5. Check it at the round table. Bye!